I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. Um, I'm just going to say here and now, stop discussing, arguing, and talking with uh, feminists, and I would say the majority of women about these issues, about men's issues, men's rights issues. Um, you want to talk to them about something else? You want to talk to them about what the price of beans are? Or how much cab fare costs? Go ahead. Don't talk to them about this stuff. And I'm just going to cite a couple of examples. Uh, most recently, that just wholly, wholly brought me to the persuasion at this current moment in time that it is absolute waste of time, energy, and um, you know, you're you're expelling. Uh, well, it's, it's cybernetic uh, cybernetic air uh, way too much when you're uh, when you're dealing with, especially in the internet. Well, most recently, I, I've, I do have a couple of female subscribers, not many. Um, I, I imagine she'll unsubscribe me at some time in the future, but it's neither here nor there. Um, uh, I won't cite her name, but uh, I did receive a, a private message from one of my very few female subscribers. She said, um, she said the following to me, and I quote, this part of, I'm not going to quote the entire thing, and the default mistrust thing, quote-unquote, give me a break. Do you know how hard it is for women to trust men? Men lie about everything. Three exclamation marks. I've been told the most ridiculous stories imaginable, but I give every new guy I met, uh, I meet a fair shot. Stop telling men to carry around their baggage. Well, I mean, it's hard to classify what kind of deflection this is, but there's no doubt that this is a deflection. First of all, men lie about everything. It's devoid of content. It's a generalization. Um, and quite frankly, you don't have the stats to back it up. We do have the stats to back up the fact that women initiate 80% plus of divorces and uh, get the lion's share of a man's assets in most uh, divorce proceedings as well as uh, his, his progeny. So and we have cold hard stats on that. Men lie about everything. Well, some men lie, some men don't. I mean... That, that's kind of meaningless. And you know, you've been told the story, most ridiculous stories. I just want to focus quite briefly on this little bit because I think every man who either subscribes to me or is an MRA or who cares about men's rights or who, who's just woken up and sort of smelled the coffee, we as individuals have not heard the most ridiculous stories, although, I, well, that's not true. We have, indeed, I have done We've also experienced them. Um, for example, many years ago, I had an ex who, uh, in my sleep, tried to strangle me with a uh, metal wire, tried to pin me down and chop my penis off. So anyway, um, this this doesn't really mean if you've experienced the most ridiculous stories, maybe I'm willing to listen. Um, and then stop telling men to carry around their baggage. I'm not telling anyone to carry around their baggage. I'm just telling them to become aware of things if they're not yet, and if they already are aware, to continue that process of awareness and remain vigilant. That's not the same thing as telling them to carry around their baggage. Um, once again, this this ultimately this is kind of a it, it's certainly of of the milieu of, of of not all women are like that. But anyway, I have nothing against this woman. I've she made some nice comments in the past, and I appreciate her. If she wants to unsubscribe me, she's welcome to. Uh, on another note, um, sorry, this is this is me. Just this is a bit of a rant, but this just kind of popped up this morning. So, um, I made a video on. Uh, I have three channels in total. Uh, this one, uh, one about com basically computer games, where I make videos and occasionally talk about them. And another thing about my other. Uh, Thing is language, which um, you know, one of my issue, my, one of my interests is language. So, but I don't have to do too much on that channel. Anyway, I mean, re very recently made a video about um, some technical aspects of the game Mass Effect. I'll post a link. And uh, a feminist managed to track me down. Uh, I do engage in, or have done, engage in discussion with feminists on the forums. Now, this is a pure ad hominem. I'm not. I'm totally numb to it. But this, this is what I mean, that, you know, you cannot engage in rational discussion with feminists and why you as an individual should stop as well. It's Stardust78, one of the shittiest posters on BSN. 
Wonder how many shitty threads he'll create today on the forums. By the way, I just watched a video he uploaded of himself. He looks like a fetus preserved in a jar of formaldehyde. One big, pale, clammy man fetus. No wonder he hates women. He thinks it's their fault when they throw up at the sight of him. Uh, <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Uh, but, um, well, there you go. This is how feminists argue. They have no content. Might, they might uh, cite false stats, but once you break those false stats down, uh, you know, they, they inevitably, invariably uh, resort to that. And by the way, no one's immune. Have you seen some of the recent some of the recent trolling on Girl Rights What? She's a woman. And, and by dint of the fact she's a woman, she's a better exponent than any of us are because more people are willing to listen to her than, than people are willing to listen to us. So, you know, that's how feminists argue. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna, I'll post uh, both of these quotes, these citations on the bottom of the video. Um, and yes, um, recently I have to say I've been posting some links, particularly about Barbara Russ's videos on, on Facebook, and I, I have received shaming uh, comments. I even received yesterday from a quote-unquote friend, female friend, uh, a shaming message, a shaming private message. Where I was told that I'm I'm on I'm on the wrong path, and that I uh, I need to look to myself if, uh, for for the mistakes in my past relationship. I, mean, I wasn't even I don't this came out of the blue, mind you. Past relationships and uh, yeah, it, it, I, I talked about some in my very in my very recent video about the blame game. Yes, it, it, it's no different. A couple of comments on my uh, Facebook page. Uh, after posting a link to, I think it was Nawalt, uh, Barbara's Nawalt video, how uh, one guy wrote to me, get a, get a grip, get a job, or a girlfriend, or all three. Yeah, quite amusing. So, uh, you, you can't win. And for the most part, you can't even discuss this with men. I have to say, recently I've been making some headway with a friend of mine here, so I don't think it's completely hopeless on that front. I know this is kind of incoherent and whatever, maybe not up to par of the more, more recent quality, but I just wanted to mention this final, final note. Disengage. Stop talking to feminists. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your energy. And uh, you'd be better to be quite honest. You'd be better off probably sucking in toxic fumes from a pickup truck, in my opinion. But anyway, take care.